Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 16362 for Windows Inside on the fast ring using the skip ahead option. You see down here we've got the RS pre-release branch that we're running. So this is effectively a redstone for the next version of Windows after the four creators update has been released. There's just starting really with the redstone 4 development so there's not a huge amount of changes. There are some changes to the lock screen. So here on the lock screen now you can show detailed status as well as quick status. Um, so we've got more sort of personalization op op options on here now so you can show. Uh, that's one of my apps, the Fast Ring Spy and uh, I can add some stuff on there as well. So you've got a bit more choice of those. Uh, if you're um, managed by an enterprise then you won't see those options. Something else that's changed is in Narrator, which is the um, the system for reading out um, the text on the screen for visually impaired. And you've now got the option to pick the output device. So uh, if you've got your, um, say your, the music playback goes through the built-in speakers, you could have the narrator in this case going through a headset that I'm using now something like that so you've got that option on there the other changes are just shell issues really shell um, minor shell improvements and uh, some edge improvements they fix things like minimizing apps with high DPI monitors where they run off, off screen um, they fix an issue with the start uh, jumping around the starts when you go to let the use the letters to it would jump around something actually was uh, also include a bug on the previous uh, Redstone 3 build which has just recently been fixed. So over here in Microsoft Edge they fix various things for bug crashes and uh, opening PDFs and things like that. They've also done some gaming improvements. You can have a look on digitallifestyle.com for the full details. It includes fixes for Train Simulator and Ghost Recon. And they fixed some, general, um, some of the input panel issues. One nice change that they've done, they've updated the run dialog. So when you do Control shift and then click OK, it will run the task elevated, um, which is a nice idea. So when you just when you go to the run, you can do Control and Shift. So if you do Control, Control Shift and press Enter, you probably might be able to see that on my screen capture. But that's run that as elevated. Um, other things they fixed an issue with the USB HUD dot sys that was causing uh, green screens of death. They fixed some issues with the uh, PC not charging when it was charging, uh, it was displaying that, and they fixed an issue where the store apps would fail to be activate after being launched a few times, and some sleep mode issues as well. So not a huge amount to see in these early days of Redstone 4. There'll be a lot more to come, and you can see that on the DigitalLifestyle.com and our YouTube channel. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.